know what I'm saying? All good. Work real hard. Work my way up to manager. We need more black people like this. You know what I'm saying? Learn the system a little bit. And I'll rob that blind. Break all y'all cells. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, took y'all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely beautiful. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And y'all, this is an update to a story that I did back last year where we had a woman, yes, who sold roughly $9.4 million from Amazon. You may be wondering, Trey, how in the hell did this woman steal this much money? But I'm going to tell you like this. Look here. Easy come, easy go. But first, I want to give a special thank you out to my channel members and also to my subscribers for seeing me this story. Now, this story right here really shows you why the Bible illustrates it. No, I didn't come to preach today. I just come and do a little reaching and a little uh teaching, if you will, if you want to take it that way. Now, the Bible speak on seven deadly sins, right? If I'm not mistaken, seven or ten is one of them. And one of those deadly sins is what? Greed. See, greed gets you caught up in a lot of mess. You feel me? Just like in the case of this story right here, we have a woman, yes, who go by the name of Karika Wordham. What a hell of a name. Now, Karika Wordham was an ex-operation manager at Amazon in Smyrna, Georgia. And if I'm saying the name Smyrna wrong, please forgive me, because every time I think about Smyrna, I think about Smyrna off. And uh, Smyrna need to cut me a check. Now, anyway, she was an operation manager at Amazon, and she decided to defraud the company out of roughly $9.4 million along with a loss prevention manager who goes by the name of Demetrius Hines. He has also been convicted of this wire fraud case also. He's due for sentencing. Now, what's really so sad about this whole situation is the fact that the things that Karika bought and also Demetrius bought, guess what? All in due time, they could have bought all that if they just would have worked harder. And guess what? Put in a little bit more work, stay with the company. You feel me? Invest your money. Never did they ever once had to steal this money to get the things they got. Now, true enough, now, Karika went and bought a million dollar mansion, I'm think like nine hundred some thousand dollars, and she bought the mansion, guess where? Right up the street from Amazon. Yes, right up the street. Matter of fact, they said you can stand out there in the Amazon parking lot and see the mansion that Karika bought. Now, Karika worked at Amazon from all the way August of 2020, all the way to March 22, where she just stopped coming to work one day. She just didn't show up no damn more. She roughly put in like a year and a half. And I figured that she thought to herself, well, I stole enough. I don't have to come back to work. Now, you may think, why would a person who only come to a company and work just a little bit over a year and a half decide to steal this much stuff? And then on top of that, get caught and have to pay it back. Now, we're going to make a long story short. Karika quit her job in March of 22. And guess what? Yes. A few months later in November, she was indicted. Yes. By the grand jury for committing raw fraud. So it's a good thing that she quit. But it's a sad situation that she even chose to do this. Now, Karika got a girlfriend who goes by the name of Brittany Hudson. And Brittany Hudson owns a little small business inside of Atlanta. And that's why all the fake invoices and the fake vendors started popping up first. So what Karika would do and how she was able to obtain all this money was she would create these fake vendors. And Brittany Hudson had to be one of those fake vendors also who happened to be Karika's girlfriend. Now, Karika would create these fake vendors and send these fake invoices back to Amazon, billing them and charging them for services that they did not even get services they did not even perform. And it all totaled up to $9.4 million. Now, the feds came in there and took everything from Karika, from Demetrius, and also from Brittany Hudson. But what's even more sad about this whole situation, look at this picture right here before I dive deep into the story. Why do Karika even have a damn suitcase like she's a lawyer or something? And then you would think, they have an old saying, you know, only a fool represent themselves in court. You feel me? Now, if you go into federal court for raw fraud in the millions of dollars, why in the hell do you want to represent yourself? And that's exactly what Karika did. And that's how she wound up with them 16 years. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to give my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, former Amazon employee sentenced to 16 years in prison for a $9.4 million fraud case. A damn sad situation. And like I told you, Karika went and bought Lamborghinis, went and bought Porsches, yes, and even bought a Suzuki damn motorcycle. And you can pretty much look at her and tell how she built that she'll have trouble trying to ride a damn sports bike. A damn shame. And like I told you, look here. Now, she was an operation manager at this Amazon. So, she has a good job. Brittany had a little small business or whatnot. So, all this they stole, guess what? They could have bought everything in due time. 
that Lamborghini, you could have saved up a little money. Guess what? You could have went and bought that. That Porsche that she also bought with that money, she could have bought that with her regular salary. That motorcycle, she could have bought that with her regular salary. Only thing would have took a little longer, and you still could obtain that. Could never think that you can't obtain certain things in life. Look here, I have this philosophy. If you want something in life, guess what? Only thing you got to do is just put your best foot forward, and guess what? God will make a way for you, only if you do right. So let that be a lesson to you all. And the only thing Karika had to do, her and her girlfriend, if they really wanted that mansion that bad, was the fact, Karika, you save up your money, and since Brittany already had a small business, just invest in Brittany. Guess what? Save your money up in three to five years. Guess what? You can go pay cash for that same mansion that you saw up here and defrauded the people out of. Easily done. Anyway, the authorities say a former Amazon worker has been sent to prison after stealing more than $9 million from the company. I mean, damn, no one to say when. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Northern District of Georgia, Karika Wordham has been sentenced to 16 years and federal prison for participating in a fraud scheme with six others also facing similar charges. And guess what? They're going to nail all their balls and clicks to the damn wall. You can best believe that. Anyway, now, Karika Word, I'm 32 years old, looking at every bit. I don't give a damn about taking none from Amazon. Guess what? If I see it, I want it, I got it. 48 in the face. Worked as an operation manager at Amazon Warehouse in Georgia from August 2020 all the way to the measly March of 2022. I mean, damn, you couldn't give Amazon at least two years before you start stealing from them? Anyway, now, Karika supervised other workers and approved new vendors, as well as the payment of vendor invoices for the company, authorities said. So that's how she was able to defraud Amazon and come to all this money, because she is the one approving these new vendors, and the vendors are just businesses, people who have goods and products for sale that Amazon approved. So what they would do is contract with these vendors, and Amazon would provide them a service, along with helping them ship their products. Now, that's how you're able to get these products all over the country for those who are, you know, in business with Amazon. That's how you're able to get certain things if you don't stay in certain parts of this country. So what they would do is help these businesses out. At the same time, Amazon going to make a profit also. And that's where the invoices come in. And that's how Karika was able to defraud Amazon of all this money. Because number one, she's approving the vendors and also sending out the payments. So guess what? If you're creating the fake vendors, which is the fake businesses, and then you turn around and paying those same fake businesses, guess what? The sky is the limit, like Big and Small says. Anyway, let's continue. Now, she reportedly used her job to submit multiple invoices to fake vendors and also leading Amazon to pay her and the other people involved $9.4 million. And guess what? The government want that damn money back. Also, according to the United States Attorney's Office, got the United States Attorney's Office involved. And also, guess who else? The Secret Service was involved in this, as you all see right here from the Department of Justice website. Now, they said Workham had employees add fake vendors information into the system. And whoever was involved in this damn dastardly scheme is a damn fool. No way in hell I'm going to sit up here and put my freedom on the line. And I don't care if it's for $10 million. No way I'm going to put my freedom on the line knowing damn well sooner or later, guess what? All good things come to an end. And guess what? Also, you know what? The way you get it is the way you're going to lose it. You feel me? That's why it's best to work legally for what you have. That way you ain't got to worry about no police come knocking on your door. That way you ain't got to worry about nobody doing a damn thing to you. Probably just hating on you. And more than that, you don't have to worry about nobody come taking what you have accumulated because you did the right thing. That's why it pays to do the right thing. Anyway, let's continue. Authorities said Karika had a relationship with one of her co-conspirators who go by the name of Brittany Hudson. And the two of them purchased expensive real estate, luxury cars, including nearly a $1 million home in Smyrna, Georgia. Right up the damn road from Amazon. I mean, how smart can you get and how dumb can you be? I mean, talk about hiding in plain sight. I don't know who she thought she was, T.I. Anyway, now Wordham was convicted of the Amazon fraud charges on November the 30th after she pled guilty. And guess what? They ain't waste no time sentencing her. But what make it even more worse and crazier is the fact that Rob Karika was going to court her in Brittany. They opened up a damn hookah lounge with the same stolen profits they had received from Amazon. You get it? So that's how Brittany and also Karika Bunn was revoked. Brittany should still be in jail right now. Karika is on her way to federal prison, wherever that federal prison may be. But the nerve of somebody to sit up here, number one, you're going to court already for fraud. And then you go open up a damn hookah lounge. So that lets you know some people just don't know when to say when. But anyway, let's get to the heart of the matter. Let's see what all the government took from them. They say the government took more than $2.7 in fraudulent proceeds from multiple bank accounts that were spread across the Atlanta area. And they all was in, guess who name? Karika. Karika had a name listed as Karika Wordham, which is her real name. And also Karika Dupree, as you all see at the bottom. And also Karika Young. So they go to show you that she was around the Atlanta area with multiple bank accounts 
with stolen proceeds inside of it. Guess what? They came and tracked down everything. And the story goes on also to say that they seized the house that they were staying in, this big mansion for $900,000. It also, they took the 2019 Lamborghini Urus and also a 2021 Dodge Durango and also a 2022 Tesla Model X. That's a good Tesla. And also a 2018 Porsche and also a Kawasaki ZX636 motorcycle, all of which were purchased with fraudulent proceeds. Now, let's see what the government took from Demetrius Hine, the loss prevention manager. They say that they took over 600000 in fraudulent proceeds from multiple bank accounts from Demetrius Hines. Also, a 2022 Suzuki motorcycle. Also, a 2013 Ford Mustang Shelby GT. And also, a 2021 Ford F-150 Black Widow. And also, a Rolex Day Date. Not Day Date from Friday, a Day Date. That's a nice watch right there. And also, a diamond bracelet. And guess what else? A diamond necklace. They say all of this was purchased with fraudulent proceeds. So that goes to show you, these people were just living for the moment. They didn't give a damn about their life or their freedom because if they did, they would have thought twice about this. But like I told you all in the beginning of the video, like the seven deadly sins the Bible speak of, and one of those sins are called greed. It's not good to be greedy because like I tell you all in these videos, when you want it all, you're going to lose it all. Only if they would have thought things out and only if they would have went by this the right way, guess what? Karika and her girlfriend could have had all that that they defrauded Amazon for so let that be a lesson to you all. Just because you see people living a certain way, driving nice cars and nice homes, you never know what they did to obtain what they got. You feel what I'm saying? Some people got it the right way. Some people got it the wrong way. Well, by stealing or selling drugs or by just killing people. You just never know. So be jealous of nobody. You know what I'm saying? Stay in your lane. What's meant for you will be for you. You get what I'm saying? All thing you got to do is do the right thing. And guess what? The most high, the good Lord is going to make a way for you. If it's in God's plan, if it's in God's will. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed it's not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.